I want to start out with a quote from a recent review in the International Immunopharmacology Journal. They stated that peptides like TB4 may likely result in reversing aging processes and accelerate organ regeneration in the human body. Maybe that's why WADA also placed TB4 on the do not use list. So what is TB4? It's one of the 16 beta thyroxin peptides initially thought to be thymic hormones discovered in the 60s. It is expressed in various tissues and cell types throughout the body and it has been shown to be released by platelets at the site of the wound so it may play a role with platelet-rich plasma procedures. So this takes us to the first benefit, the anti-inflammatory effect. In a study in Nature Medicine in 1999, they were able to show that TB4 was generated by white blood cells in response to corticosteroids. Uh, TB4 was also able to inhibit neutrophil movement to the site of injury in vitro and shown to possess a strong anti-inflammatory effect in vivo. In animal models, TB4 has been shown to help accelerate full thickness skin injuries. In a couple of phase two clinical trials, pressure ulcers, it accelerated healing by a month. The thought is that it likely acts by promoting cell migration and stem cell mobilization and differentiation by inhibiting inflammation, apoptosis, and infection. Other animal models showed healing of the medial collateral ligament. They have also shown that TB4 can enhance intervertebral disc cell proliferation and reduce cell death and senescence. The last benefit doesn't actually fit into the MSK category. It's more neurologic. I frequently see folks with polyneuropathy. Our options for treating polyneuropathy are very limited. We have certain medications that are hit or miss. And then we also have spinal cord stimulation. There are also some emergent platelet-rich plasma procedures that are still being investigated. So overall, very few treatment options uh, in treating polyneuropathy. There have been actually a handful of studies in animal models showing improvement of polyneuropathy using TB4. These studies were able to show improvement in nerve fiber density and nerve vascularity. The thought is TB4 acts on the Schwann cells that line nerves and the endothelial cells that line the blood vessels affected in some types of neuropathy. So the big take home is this is another peptide with a real strong regenerative potential. But remember, this peptide, like other peptides, is still early in the investigation. Still only a handful of human trials on this peptide. They have done safety trials with TB4 with very high dose, showing that it is safe. Another last comment is to answer the question, what's the difference between TB4 and TB500 peptides that's often used in replace of TB4? TB4 has been mostly studied. It's a 43 amino acid sequence and TB500 is a fragment of the TB4 peptide. Uh, TB500 is a seven amino acid peptide. The TB500 includes the main binding sequence of TB4. So TB500 has most of the same effect as TB4. It is missing the end portion of TB4, which plays a role in DNA replication. All right, until next time.